With the release of the December update for Pixel devices, this is the stable version of QPR1. There have been a lot of questions in my comments on social media about how you can leave the betas and install this stable version without factory resetting your device, without wiping your device, losing your data. In this video, I'm going to try to clarify this situation and explain what's going on and what you may need to do going forward. Now, admittedly, this is a bit of a confusing situation because typically how this goes is different from how it has actually gone, right? So typically what happens is we get the QPR1 beta and it runs through maybe four or five iterations, sometimes a little bit more than that. At the end of that, in the month of December, we receive the stable version of that beta. That is what has happened, but there's one caveat. Before the stable version was released, which is what happened yesterday, the QPR2 beta went ahead and started. So if you were in the beta channel for the QPR1 beta and you got all the way to the end and then you let it continue updating, you are now on QPR2. And at that point, you're in a little bit of a pickle. So I've thrown together sort of a crude visual aid to hopefully kind of simplify this a little bit. So in September, we got the beginning of the QPR1 beta. Many people jumped on board because it had some features that we really, really wanted to see. Now, what should have happened is this QPR2 beta should not have really started there. This has been very confusing for people and it's made the situation much more complicated than it needed to be. This should have actually been like over here. That's where that should have been. But since they went ahead and released the QPR2 beta before the QPR1 stable, which is what we just got yesterday, a whole bunch of people were on the QPR1 beta. They got an update delivered to their device to begin the QPR2 beta, and they just carried on and updated to that next one. You now have a problem, though. If you want to go from the QPR2 beta, which you were probably on, if you are in the beta channel and you go and you check for an update and it says there's no update available, you are on the most recent thing in the beta channel, which would be QPR2. If you want to go from QPR2 to QPR1, the only way you're going to be able to do this is to downgrade, and that is going to require your device being wiped. The only way you could have prevented this is if you were on QPR1, you got the update pushed to you to go to QPR2, and you said, no, I'm not doing this. You then went to the website and clicked on opt out. Shortly after that, you would have been delivered a new update, which would have said, we're going to put you back on vanilla Android 14, which is what was happening before the QPR1 beta, you would have said, no, I don't want that either, and you just waited. And then at that point, eventually, today rolls around, the stable is delivered, you check for an update, that's what it gives you, you upgrade to that, and now you're on the stable channel and you're happily carrying on from there. I know this is very complicated, it's very confusing, I'm trying my best to simplify it, but that's the situation. If you are now on QPR2, you let that thing upgrade to QPR2, you can't just upgrade to the QPR1 stable because that is technically a downgrade, even though it doesn't seem like it would be. QPR2 is after QPR1, right? So that is a downgrade. You cannot downgrade without wiping. So right now, if you were to go to the website, both of my devices are currently opted out. But if I were to go to the website and let's say my Pixel was still in and I click on opt out, What's probably going to happen is it's going to send to my device the Android 14 release because the stable version, this December release, has not yet hit a lot of people's devices, right? When I install that, when I let that install, it's going to factory reset my device. It's all part of that process. You don't have to do anything. Just let it install and it will factory reset you. Once you're fully set back up again, sometime in the next couple of days, hopefully, you will receive this December update. It'll install, 
and you'll be good to go. Now, the alternative to that is once you opt out, you let it downgrade, you let a factory reset, you can then just download the update from Google's actual website, which is right here. You can scroll down until you see the pixel fold right here and you would download this one and you could sideload. You see it says December. That's the one that you would want. I have a whole video on how to sideload that update. I'll put it in the description down below. So you could go that route and not have to wait for it to hit you. But unfortunately, that's just kind of where you are right now. Those are your available options. I guess technically there is a third available option, which is to just continue waiting, okay? So you will continue getting new beta versions for QPR2. It's probably going to get more and more stable, and then eventually, sometime in March, the stable version for that will be released. What I would tell you, though, is maybe something weird happens again where things get out of whack, and maybe there's things happening in between. What I would tell you is Maybe once QPR2 beta becomes pretty stable on your device, go ahead and go back to the website and opt out and then just don't let it install anything until the stable version comes out in March. Then you can update to that without wiping your device. Hopefully this made some sense. Again, I know that this is very complicated because talking about QPR1, but that's a beta, and that's different than the stable, and the stable came after the QPR2, which is a beta, and the stable for that isn't until probably March of next year. It's all very, very confusing, and I, I understand that. Again, I'm trying my best to kind of make this somewhat understandable for people that maybe haven't done this stuff before and saw cool features and jumped in, and now they're like trapped, and they're like, there's bugs on my device, and I don't know what to do. Again, I'm hopeful that this might clear some of this stuff up. So guys, let me know if you have any more questions, drop them down below. I'm sure either myself or some other intelligent people in the comments who have gone down this road before can potentially help answer some questions. If I failed to clarify anything, again, hit those comments down below, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.